Ever think about how you're receiving in your life? For a lot of people, this is actually very difficult to do. I know there are times for me it's been very hard in the past. However, it's a lot easier now. And receive this message. Receiving is something that is very hard for a lot of people to do. It can be compliments. Some people may say, you look great today, and you might not believe them. I know myself in the past, I used to think when someone would say, you're beautiful, you look really good. I used to be like, that's really nice, but you don't have to lie. <laughs> or I'd say, I don't really feel that, but thanks. Because I didn't think I was. My own belief, self-love, yeah, mirror work, all that stuff. Wonderful. You definitely can change it. You can start receiving more in your life. Money comes to mind, receiving abundance, receiving warmth, receiving is a lot that I think hasn't been talked about. And I would love to open this discussion with you today. What I would love for you to do today is this simple exercise for receiving to get us started. I want you to sit in a comfortable chair, could be in your bed, on a bench outside looking at the stars at night, and I want you to just sit and receive whatever thoughts, feelings, it's not meditating, you can look at it in that way if you like, but it's just simply sitting and being and receiving. And if you want to do the outside one, this is the one I recommend the most. Sit outside, even if you can't see the stars in the city, look up in the sky and wonder. And just receive all that life has to offer. Just receive. Don't have to think about it. You can even do it for five seconds right now. So I want you to put your hands up like this. And simply, you can say the word out loud, receive. 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 There you go, you just received for a second, but it's a lot deeper than that. When you receive from others, it can be compliments, it can be something someone gives to you, somebody opens a door for you, somebody helps you at work, somebody plays a song for you, a DJ. Just actually receive it by acknowledging that you are receiving, that something is being done to you, for you, and revel in it, like, yes, receiving is easy for me. I always have received. Be grateful. Grateful, 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 gratitude. That means thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers and everyone who comes and watches these. There's receiving. I'm receiving your messages. I love receiving your comments. There's receiving a thumbs up. Those who subscribe, that is receiving and it makes me so much joy. Can you feel this? Like the joy is like unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. And I am receiving and giving at the same time and I'm receptive to from you. It's not me just giving to you. I'm receptive to where you would like this to go. What topics you want me to talk about. Receiving is not just one person giving to you. Always to you. It's reciprocal. When you're outside, you're receiving nature. Do this during the day. Receive everything that you see. It could be a bird. We're saying like, I receive and I'm noticing. You can call it notice if you don't like the word receive. The birds, the sun on my face, the quiet, the noise and the busyness and how it makes me feel alive. It could be, and it's not necessarily about being positive. Make sure you get the definition. It's just receive that which you love, but nature is just a great place to start because it allows you to receive things as they really are. A tree is a tree is a tree is a tree. That it's giving oxygen to us. That's something we don't always think about. I know I don't when I'm walking. There's so many things to just notice the elements the water that you're able to drink, you're receiving this water that you 
hydrates you and keeps you alive. That is receiving. There are so many ways we're receiving all the time. We just stop. And notice, when you receive compliments, just smile. You can say thanks. You don't have to have the ego involved. Receiving doesn't have to be, I need 10 million people to tell me how wonderful I am. That is something you can choose to have if you want, but some say it's ego. And it's okay, you don't have to be identified with it. Thank you, you can give one back to them. You can do whatever way you want and still knowing that you don't need that to validate you, but you still are thankful for, look at the wonderful people I'm attracting, look at somebody even saying hello. Even if they may not mean it, they still said hello. They didn't have to say hello. Maybe an uncomfortable uh, hi or how are you? Some people don't do that. Have you ever seen them? I know I have. Neighbors? Now I go back to the meditate where I said, oh, this isn't about meditating. That's another thing you can do if you like. If you can't meditate for 30 minutes, do it for 20 minutes. If you can't do 20, do 10. If you can't do 10, do 5. If you can't do 5, do 1 minute. Two seconds. You just received. Get in the habit of doing it. Receive money. Receive. Anytime you find money, be like, oh my god, I just got money. Yes. Whether it's deposited in your bank account, an e-transfer, penny, a dime, a nickel, a dollar, a twenty, a fifty, a hundred. I am receiving. Yes, yes, yes. I'll the joy of receiving to enter your heart. You can see my video on the heart chakra if you want to know more about how to open your heart. If that's something that seems difficult for you or something you would love to just increase more and more and more, take a look. This is something I love. It's one of the power poses. You can look up power poses and how actually scientifically, if you do some of these poses before an interview, not during an interview, but before an interview, say like 10 minutes before, you will be more confident and things are actually used in the real world. But this is something, I call this the star pose. Yeah, you know, my channel, see your star, right? So I love this pose. So think of a star, how it has like five points. So this is your head, these are your arms and your legs. So now if I can stretch, you have your arms wide, wide, like on both sides, like this, your legs apart, your head up. You can do it like that. And I prefer to have my hands out start and just receive. You can look up, you can look down, you can look straight ahead. I prefer straight ahead or up. Up. Wow. Yes, <laughs> right now. That was receiving. Can you feel me? Star pose. Receive the physical senses. We receive taste. When you actually eat something, notice what is the texture of it? What does it feel like in your mouth? What are the tastes? Is it salty, sweet, sour, bitter? something completely different. Savory. What is the sounds that you're receiving right now? Do you hear it quiet? It also is another form of being aware, which will take you into perhaps a heightened awareness, state, frequency. And know that all of these physical senses, that you're much more than that. I hope you do know that. It's quite obvious what you hear today and what you tasted yesterday and like is not the same as what you liked 10 years ago, five years ago, 20 years from now. And that's okay. If you still find it hard to receive doing these exercises or you're not in the habit of doing this often, then use images. Put some a poster up or a photograph or your screen saver on your computer or on your phone or tablet. Whatever. Make it something that when you look at you just feel like, like ah. Again, I'll have to suggest stars. Like I have one in my room of starry night. And I love it so much because it is two people and they're just receiving the beautiful evening. And it's something I can just look at, like I'm looking at right now. And just smile. Smile at these images. Receive it in your heart. Feel it. Feel the feelings. Not just in here. You can think about it too. Find the images and just what gets you to there quick. And if you don't have any, there's your homework. Go find some now. What images make you feel receptive and open? Is it in the mountaintop? The ocean? 
Is it a person? Is it a color? Is it a band? Whatever that is. Here's a secret people don't always talk about in receiving and that is giving. And you might think that makes no sense. We're talking about receiving here. Where does giving come into it? It comes into it because, 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 because you give to somebody and you receive feelings, thoughts, experiences that stay with you for longer. You go give flowers to people who are on their palliative care in their years where they're dying. And you went and you just gave flowers to everybody and you didn't get anything in return for it. You might think, well, you're just doing it to make yourself feel better. Maybe, but it doesn't have to be bad. So it feels good for you. It feels good for them. I don't see anything wrong with it. Then do it. And you have another frame of reference for you to go. This feels good. I gave to somebody else and you received, I'm sure, a lot of compassion and gratitude from those people, even if they may just think, oh, it's just a flower, I'm gonna die anyway, what's a flower gonna do? And there's some who will like it. And there's some who might go, well, somebody came and they cared. Some of these families don't even come and visit them. So if you want one little thing, is give, give, give. The secret to receiving is also giving. You give, you receive. You don't have to do always a physical thing. It can be you're just sending out thoughts and feelings of, I hope that people are feeling good today. You walk by someone and they seem down or they seem up. Doesn't matter. You send out good vibes to them. You are giving to them. And it feels good because you're getting in what you want to be. Give out what you want to be. You want angels in your life? Be an angel for other people. You want joy? Be joy. You want love? Be loving. Really, and you're receiving it and you are in that feeling in the sense of what it is you want. That's a huge, huge thing. It took me so long to figure that out. Huge. Are you with me? I think you are. There is no more waiting. No more waiting for receiving. You can receive right now, right this very second as you watch this. Right this very second as you hear me. Right this very second as you become aware of what you're receiving in this moment right now. And that you can decide where you want to flow, if you want to talk to this person, if you want to talk to that, what you want to say, what you're receiving for someone else, what you're giving to them, and what you would like to exchange in others, what you receive from nature. Ultimately, there is no giving and receiving, actually. If I want to be giving you the full picture, there is no giving and receiving because you're constantly existing. Whether you go over here, or I go over here, or I go over there, I am still existing, I can give here I'm receiving this experience, or this, or I'm feeling this, or I'm looking at this, or I'm feeling this, or I'm tasting that. You exist and giving and receiving, just experience what you want to experience. And ultimately, you are, you will increase it more and more.